One thing I did was I made sure that, that the, and I walked this myself several times, that we built paths for Jen that were almost like running tracks and that we put we put markers that we could paint out that she always had to run between. Hey, Chad, yeah. let's stick a red flag right yeah. here and stay to the outside of this one so she can find it. Yeah, the angle and back was a big concern just because there was so much running. Katniss never walks. So I, I got my ankles wrapped up every time we would do because the ground is so un, uncertain. There's so many holes and rocks and tra like that you don't know about. And when you're sprinting full speed, just one tiny rock can send everything off. Because the only way that an injury is going to happen is if she trips or falls off the path. And we made sure that that wasn't going to ever happen. And we had safety people and personnel around her all the time. Well, it always starts in the conceptual stage. Gary said he wanted to combine the element of real fire as much as we could to avoid an entire wall of CG fire coming towards Katniss. So Steve Kremen had done a bunch of research in the different ways he can create the fire with his propane bars and all his fans. He did several sequential tests, which involved, you know, our stunt double running through. and. Um, by the use of fans and the way Steve had timed his, his propane blast, we got the, both the stunt double and Jen within, you know, 20 feet of the real fire. My memories are everybody going, get back, get back, stay away, and me being like standing right there where nobody else is allowed to stand, and I'm like, what about me? <laughs> Oh, that's hot. What? <laughs> what? Oh, Again, David? Oh, my God. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you wanted to play this freaking part. I know. I'm <laughs> It's still... What I'm saying is we're keeping everything completely safe from this one. It's hot. I can feel it. I'm not even there yet. And then there was a time where I had to run down a trail, and I knew, like, all of the trees were going to be exploding into fire. And when I say exploding, they make the loudest, like, poof noise every time they go up in a flame. But there was a specific trail that I had to run down, which, when the trees weren't on fire, was totally easy to remember. And then all of a sudden, trees are exploding, and I'm getting, like, terrified, and I'm just running down, and I'm thinking, I'm going to run into a tree, and I'm going to explode, and this is how I'm going to die. Ready, and action, action, action. But if she runs along this path, she'll never be exposed to the actual fire in any way. And you want to go foreground to this one? Okay. Sure. Uh, you know what? I think that's a tough gate. There you go. Thanks a little action-y. Action! And then I made it to the bottom, and they're like, cut! Take two! <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so, we were pretty specific, yeah. And we did put up a 20-foot wall of fire. So that's really her running by fire. <laughs> and action, action, action. Love that. Can I see it? <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs>